Hello, it's your boy Red, and you're watching Rum Time TV. That your relationship wasn't going to work out. When I walked in and saw her stopping at the car, uh, we shared our location each other. Then. When you checked her location, did it say uh, she is currently at a place sucking dick? You knew? Yeah. No, no, no. She was at the place. That's like. So you went there. You saw her. You know, getting down on dude. Was she going crazy or not? I'm playing. But uh, <laughs> wait. So what happened after? <laughs> I, I called her out. She came outside. I didn't let her say shit. I spit on her face and I left. Damn. So you was the only person that didn't get spit on because she was. <laughs> <laughs> dude, sorry for bro, man. You ever check in his girl location settings? Pull it up and seeing that she was just topping off another nigga. When you're not doing your role, these type of situations will occur. You gotta make sure that she's more interested in you than you are with her. Cause if you don't, she gonna definitely be proving to you that she has her mind elsewhere. You can't get mad at that shit. You should be happy actually, that she actually just showed you that she ain't shit. And happy that you even figured that shit out. Cause most niggas don't even catch the act. Most niggas don't. Got it off, nigga. I hope that you doing better. I, I do hope you doing better. I would say pay attention to the red flags, but you had to have you had to have already been paying attention for you to check her location settings to see what the fuck she on. Cause you knew I don't wish this type of shit on nobody, man. She topping off a whole nother nigga. You know she topping it off better than she do with you. That is a red pill moment for your ass. They wonder why the niggas is saying fuck it. They wonder why niggas saying fuck it. Look, focus on yourself, man. Before you do anything relationship-wise, even if you dating, bro, you have to be focused on your purpose. You can't be out here more focused about chasing women and shit than getting your stacks up. Like, how's your bank account looking? Nigga? Do you have a business? Do you like being a slave at your job? Are you focused on evolving? Getting in the gym, eating right? Like, all this shit adds up. And when you don't care about yourself, how can you expect anybody else to? Most of the times, it'd be two stories. It'd be the nigga that's not on this shit and the girl that's just like being on some whole shit. The more that you're on your shit, you won't even be phased by this. You'll be like, all right, yeah, shit, fuck it. You already on to the next. Like Jay-Z said, on to the next one. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll holla at you later. Mm -hmm.